Uh, is it too warm for you? Uh, yeah, you know, um, it's it's winter time though in the desert, so it's it's it gets chilly. A lot of people think that it doesn't get chilly in the winter time, and it actually, I've actually gotten snow there in my yeah. on my deck. I don't have any pictures or so I'd show you, but it occasionally from time to time will snow. Yeah. Yeah, but it gets chilly. We've got a um, we've got a fireplace and. You know, and I see it, a picture of your family today on uh, Instagram. Oh yeah, that's my wife you and my be, son. You must be desperate to get home. <laughs> Desperate's not the word. Yeah. More, you know, it's just, you know, it's 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 still tough for me. That's the hardest part of of being on the road is, mm. and I I always say that, but it's true. Um, you know, if I was single and didn't have any kids, it'd be another story. Sure. But I, I've got you know, a, an incredible wife. A, Beautiful, eleven-year-old daughter, and a and a, a five-year-old son who you know just started kindergarten, mm -hmm. and uh, this is the longest I've I've ever been away from him yeah. since since uh, Wendy and I were married, and Marshall was born. So it's I mean it's not it's not like I'm in the military where I'm gone for fucking six months or sure. eight months or anything like that. But it's still tough, yeah. no matter how you slice it. So. I've got here is um, would you draw inspiration for your songwriting? Is it on the road? When you're at home, chilling out? Or? Um, very, very rarely on the road. I when I'm on the road, I'm in like tour mode. Sure. And then when I'm in writing mode, I'm in writing mode. Um, but inspiration will will come in 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 many in many forms. Not to sound like a broken record, but I'm in, I'm inspired by. You know my family, and they're they're my they're my muse. And hey, you're hey, you're a big cult fan. I'm the I'm I'm. He's the reason I started yeah. singing. He's the reason why I'm I'm here right now. Funny you mention that because I was at my friend's the other night and mm -hmm. we listened to your new album, and I can't sorry, but I can't remember what track it was. Flower. As soon as he heard, it, he goes, "It's a cult, cult riff." I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's flower. Really? I know. You know I, I'm. I'm inspired by them too. You know, they they they're a huge influence yeah. on me. And then when when Mark Diamond wrote that part, and for Flower, which we're playing it tonight, yeah. um, I was like, I like it. It sounds yeah. like the Colts. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So uh, I I agree with that. I totally agree with that. Mm. I agree that it does sound like a cult. You know, and I'm I'm inspired by them. The cult is some I, sort of a simplicity about a simplicity about their riffs, but they're so powerful and just so catchy, aren't they? They really are. I did a radio interview today, and they said. Would, would be your five, your five songs that you take with you to the bunker, and "She Sell Sanctuary" was was in my top five, and um, that record changed my life. Love, yeah. I was searching for music. I knew I was a fan of music. I was a fan of song, and and I and I had a I had a lot of different from punk to R and B to to pop. Really, I, I don't have any guilty pleasures. Yeah. Um, but I was still searching for that one thing. You know, there's some guys are where Black Sabbath is their thing, and the one guys were Iron Maiden. That's their thing. For me, the cult was it was it was exactly who I was exactly. I was searching one for. One of those bands that, like, on a playlist, you might have your iPod, or whatever, on shuffle. You never skip one of their tracks. It's like, oh, the cult, cool. Yeah, I'll yeah. Love that cause I love it. The um, the cult love record uh, really. Dreamtime. Live at the Lyceum, um, Love, um, uh, Electric, Ceremony. Yeah. Those records meant the most to me, and, and and you know I even went backwards. I went to the Death Cult and went to the Southern Death Cult, and, mm -hmm. and uh, got got into them. And and uh, I've, last time I saw the Cult, they were in Liverpool, oh, yeah. and I got the chance to see them live, and they were absolutely yeah. amazing. I've seen them live once in the, at the Forum. Really yeah, I, I've seen them. Uh, I've, uh... And Ashley, when he comes on stage, he's almost like an elder statesman. He's, he's yeah. got such a cool style as well. He's, he's, a, he's... You know, when people start throwing a, around living legend mm. um, uh, around, I, I think, you know, I think that he's definitely a living legend. And, and um... Well, that be sounding that embarrassing you, people could say the same about you. Sort of the, the, I, the stoner I, rock legend yeah, and all that, you know? Well, I, I, I... I 
I appreciate that, yeah. but I don't consider myself so, to, to, to... Have you embraced the whole hashtag of the you know, stone of rock or yeah. desert rock? Yeah. Because, I mean, you must be the first person that people would think of. Yeah. Um, I've, I've, I've embraced it. Um, there was a time when I didn't. Yeah. Um, but, you know, call it what you will. Mm. You know, I, 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 I really... I don't care mm. because, to me... Excuse me. It's just rock music, you know. It's just rock and roll, you know, and just like that Billy Joel song, you know, still rock and roll to me. Mm. And uh, yeah, so. You have um, you've done a lot of collaborations, you know, i.e. Kelma to Burn, Danko Jones, Orange Goblin, Crystal Method. Um, who who else within your like bucket list of people to work with that you could put play vocals down on with? Uh, so there must be a few. Well, I would like to. I would like to obviously do a do something with Ian, but I don't think he would do it. <laughs> um, but I I really want to. I want to work with the group of guys that I'm working with right now. Yeah. I I really do, and I I'd like to work with Robbie Krieger more. Yeah. You know, I, I'd really like to do something extensive. How did that come about with Robbie Krieger? Did you approach him or? Mm. No, you know, I had really, honestly, I had nothing to do with it. Yeah. It was, he, he wasn't a friend of mine. He was a friend of my producer, uh, Harper Hug. And Harper said, well, let's let's try to get Robbie Krieger on this track. And I was, you know, I, I, I was, you know, I'm a fan, a mm. big fan of The Doors. Yeah. So, um, you know, he reached out to him and he said yes and... I was in the studio. He had no idea who I was, and yeah. he would just thought I was just that's, that's an assistant cool to. As well, yeah, yeah <laughs> I, he just thought I think I was like Harper's assistant or something like that. He's like, "Did you sing the song?" I said, "Yeah." He goes, "Well, you're a little off." I'm like, <laughs> and I said, "Well, I just gave you scratch. It's not the final version because of scheduling issues. I I, I wanted to see what he was gonna do to it. So you know, um, uh, so but." Uh, what what an amazing talent! Um, super. You must have been shocked when Ian sung with the Doors. I did yeah, you I shows? did, I did, I, 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 yeah. I, and I saw got a chance to see Ray before he passed away, yeah. and um, that was amazing. I saw him in the desert, up in the high desert, this little town called Lancaster, mm. and there wasn't that many people there, but it was um, it was amazing. Yeah. I'll never forget that, mm. ever, 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 and I I. I I could say that I saw Ray Manzarek, you know, do everything, you know, mm. all the hits with, with my idol singing. <laughs> and so yeah. it was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, what else um, in the early Kaya's days, did you ever imagine that you'd still be singing now as a like a, as a job or as a vocation? N did uh, you have any backup plan? Because like, well, I joined a band. You know, have a laugh, whatever. Or do you think, well, maybe I should do an apprenticeship or something? Or was that it? You think, no, I'm going to be a, a rock and roller, and that's yeah, it. You know, I, I, I've been doing, I've been doing this on and off, you know, uh, for you know, 25 years, mm. and I, I, I'm, I'm appreciative to the fact that I, I can, I think I can still sing, mm. you know, I think I can, <laughs> uh, but, um. You know, my wife, she helps run Palm Springs Animal Hospital, yeah. and she's in the veterinary medical field, mm -hmm. and that's where we met in a hospital, and yeah. I worked at this one place for like eight years, and uh, when I get back, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to work with my wife again, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take it easy, and we're, we're going to, we're in the infantile stages of writing, mm -hmm. so we'll get off work, and we'll have rehearsals and stuff like that, and I, I, so, I need to get some normality back yeah, in my life. Yeah, I was going to say, is that important to you to go home and yeah. speak dad, mm -hmm. dad and the husband, and just yeah. do a regular yes. kind of thing that you enjoy? Yeah. I, I, and I, I do enjoy it, and I'm very lucky to have two things I love to do, one, playing in a band, and, and my kids and my mm. wife allowing me to do this, and then two, being in a, in a, in a vet clinic, helping animals. And I, I, I like that. Uh, although, satisfying. although I'm not a doctor of veterinary medicine, I, I, I should have been, mm. you know. Um, but um, I suppose it's quite a busy time of the year, like getting onto Christmas, as far as like, abandoned animals and stuff. It must be quite heartbreaking as well, though. Yeah, you yeah. know, you, you've, you, you, you can't save them all, mm. and and um, you've got to, you know, detach yourself emotionally. 
um, a lot of the time, and and um, you've got to, you know, keep your keep your head on a you know your head on a swivel because you can't you can't just go ah, start crying every yeah. time you you know every time a, a dog or cat dies. You gotta you have to detach yourself and, yeah. and know that know that you did everything you possibly could to to help the animal. Sometimes animals get terminal, you mm -hmm. know. They get cancer just like we do. They get pancreatitis. They get, you know, liver failure, kidney failure, uh, everything that the humans get that we pretty much, they, they, they get too. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, after you've, you know, gone back home, had some family time and all that, you say you're writing again. Um, is, I'm not sure, is, is Vista Chino still active or are you going to concentrate on your solo stuff or... Do, 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 when you're writing, do you think, okay, this would be good for, for this project, or this is my personal stuff that I want to bring out myself? Um, I'm, um, Damien, I'm, I'm very happy with where I'm at right now. Yeah. I, I like where I'm at, and I plan to stay here. I don't want to, you know, I, Vista Chino is a great project. I love Brent, I love Mike Dean, and, and Bruno, really love Bruno. Bruno's one of my favorite all-time people in the entire world, and, and, um, uh, so, but I'm, I like where I'm at, and I'm going to stay here for a while. Mm. Yeah. Do you feel like kind of you're, you're your own boss kind of thing? You don't have to, if, if it's just your name, it feels like, well, I don't have to worry about, like, oh, these guys are hounding me because, like, oh, come on, when we going on tour, when we're doing this? Just, you, you, you have that more freedom? You, you, there's an yeah. in, incredible amount of freedom. I wouldn't say hounding me, you know, but oh, yeah, I, sure, right. I would, I would, you know, I, I, I think that, uh, you know, it was a great project for a while. Um, but the album was brilliant. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was. Yeah, thank you for that. I, <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, but I'm again, I'm happy, very happy with where I'm at right now. Good. Yeah. I think we've kind of covered it all. I don't want to delve deep into the past too much, but um, yeah. That's, that's okay. It. Well, cool, man. Thank you very much. That sounds good to me. My um, like I said, my editor didn't make it so.